Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I have my very special guest. He's part of our podcast series. He has recorded a bunch of podcast series, and he's also part of our community, and he does a lot of interaction with people. So if you have a question, go to Ron. He is the uh, founder of Superior Source Vitamins, and he has amazing information to provide you with different knowledge on how to maintain good health and to live a long, healthy, happy, and productive life. Today, he'd like to talk about strength. As we get older, as you know, we start to tend to lose our strength. And, you know, he has some great tips and great tools on how to maintain your strength and overall wellness. So, Ron, tell everybody a little about yourself and what you'd like to talk about today. Hi, I'm Ron Beckenfell. Uh, I've been in the health industry for 60 years. I'll be 80 years old in August the 25th. Uh, and I, I just live it and breathe this stuff. You know, it's my passion, my hobby, my everything. My whole life goes around a self-centered run, I guess you'd call it, but it's not really <laughs> that. You know, and I, I just like to pass the good word to people that, you know, just put a little time in yourself. You really get a lot, a lot of results. And it's not a Herculean effort. It's just uh, carving out a little bit of time, a little discipline, maybe getting up in a half hour here and there. So you can give yourself maybe 20 minutes. But as you start to do that, I think one thing people don't talk to about too much is you get older, your strength, especially in your legs, your gripping strength. And those are very, very important that, you know, that you have that strength. Otherwise it's pretty hard to function, especially the leg strength, yeah. getting in and out of chairs, so on and so forth, that type of thing. And there's a lot of nice little exercises you can do for that. Uh, especially for the uh, the legs. I mean, just even if you could sit on a, a regular a chair and get up with no hands, uh, doing 10 repetitions of that, maybe two, three or four or five sets, even three sets is fine. Very good. You get your overall strength. If you start losing strength, you're going to lose muscle. And if you lose muscle, you're going to lose bone mass. And it's all, it all is tied together. And all, you know, it can be a plus or a minus. Right. It all depends what, what you want to put into it. And I think... Even three, four, five minutes a day would take care of that, of, of, of uh, leg strength. If you can get in, even get into a squat position and hold it without a chair yeah. for uh, uh, 30 seconds, you're going to get some real real benefits, and it will give you the benefits, especially as you get older. Don't, you know, everybody's active when they're young, and when they're supposed to really be active is when you're old. <laughs> it's the complete opposite. You know, everybody's running around, they tennis or whatever you do, and you but when you get older, you start eliminating a lot of the stuff for various reasons. Could be injuries, uh, many things. A weight gain, especially, is a real son of a gun for mm -hmm. everybody. But you want to hang on to your strength, and that'll make sure you hang on to your muscle and hang on to your bones as well. And that, that'll serve you well as you get older. And especially, like I said, as you get older, you need it more than when you're young. Everybody's pretty much healthy when they're young. Right. Pretty much. So if you can get that under the control and... Uh, uh, gripping strength. Uh, uh, if you could, if you have something you could grab onto and hang and hold for uh, thirty seconds, it's really going to help your strength there. Uh, and as far as strength too, I mean, if at home at home you could use some bands, but the legs are really really important in the core to keep that strength. And like I so said, just a couple minutes on that, and the rest is you know uh, whatever you want to do. Right. Of course, yeah. diet. diet uh, is a big, 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 big deal. The way you eat, the way you take care, especially when you get older, there's a lot of studies, you've got to get that protein. Uh, mm -hmm. That's uh, pretty hard to eat. What I generally do is I take protein drinks. One I use in particular is this keto protein. I'm going to have some before I go to the gym. I can hold it up. Whoa, there she is. And that'll give you 10 grams of protein. You need about anywhere from a three quarters of gram to a gram of protein a day for body weight. If you weigh a hundred pounds, you need about a hundred grams. So for what really works for me is I basically, when I eat five meals a day, that's two drinks and three solids. I don't eat a lot for some reason versus three meals. I'm really kind of gorging myself all the time. 
Right. If I'm eating every three hours or so, I'm constantly flushing nutrients in me, flushing good food in me, and I'm keeping my protein up. And the protein is the base of everything I do. It's protein and fresh food behind it, whatever is fresh, the like. That, that really works well. Can you explain to people why protein is so important? Well, to hang on to your muscle mass. And if it, it's a slow, when, when, you, when you ingest food, you got your carbohydrates, which is a, a, a burn burns fast, fat, fat burns a little uh, slower, sugar first, of course, and protein's a slow burning fuel. Mm -hmm. Once you get past the protein, uh, you're going to be digging into, you're going to start losing muscle mass. Right. And you don't want to do that when you get older. You want to hang, hang on to your muscle and resistant training along with your pro, keeping your protein up and, you know, the usual things, getting enough rest and so forth and so forth is the is the right way to go. And it's not a Herculean effort. Everybody makes the, you know, the diets, diets don't work. That's bunk. Mm -hmm. Just good, steady eating. Hey, you want to, you can have a cheat day. No big deal once a week, but you can't be pounding the junk down every day. Right. That, that That's what works for me. And I, I do take my own supplements, obviously. Uh, I, uh, superior source, microlingual fat, I took, this is B12. I took some, look how small it is. That's the jar. Some pills are that big almost these days. And this is the tablet. I don't know if anybody can see the darn thing. I it's see so it. Small. It's really very, small. Very small. Goes in your mouth and uh, either melts in your mouth or melts in, under your tongue. Either way, it, what makes our product so unique and different, we don't have all the heavy binders and fillers and excipients, uh, mannitol, sorbitol, all that some of these other companies use. Right. It's just the active ingredient, a little lactose, which helps it uh, uh, dissolve, and sometimes some stevia natural color, not la natural flavoring. You know, one of the things I hear the most from people 55 and older, they start complaining about fatigue and not having the energy. And maybe you can give some tips to people because that's one of the biggest complaints. I don't have the energy to do it anymore. I'm not 20 years old anymore. I just don't have the energy. And what do you say to those people? What advice do you give to those people on how they can, you know, build up their energy so they can start doing the things they want to do? What I find for me personally is sometimes I'm just not, in the mood or I don't feel that energetic but once I start moving and doing things that all evaporates for some reason right it just evaporates and I just go to an, another level it's like got to get started first I need to you know the gym gives me a kick in the pants to bring my energy level as long as you don't you know uh, you leave it in the gym you know I mean you, you, you know drain yourself out with a two and a half hour workout you're you're sweating through your shoes you're sweating so hard you know uh, right yeah, a lot of to get that first start. A lot like even when you get up in the morning, sometimes you're a little slow. But once you get moving around, you're just fine. Right. Same thing. I don't have a problem with a little stimulant for me before I I work out twice a day. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the harder workouts, I take I have a cup of coffee, or I'll have the the keto with some coffee. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but only on only three or four days a week, I, I, I take the stimulants. I'm naturally pretty high and ready to go at everything I do. So I'm, I'm motivated all the time. That's I'm excited. That's you got to be excited. You know, I mean, excited to go to the gym, excited to do your work, excited, you know, clean the house. <laughs> you gotta, I mean, I think it's just good. Yeah. So you would say probably mindset too plays a big role, having a positive mindset. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, sure. I mean, you know, I mean, if you have, if, 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 listen, you can't feel great about yourself if you're really bad, badly overweight. I don't care what anybody says. Mm -hmm. You can't be happy with yourself and you can't be feeling that good either. You, you know, you, your clothes don't fit you right or this and that. And, you know, you just, you just can't feel good. If you right. just put that little bit of time into yourself, you know, you pass on the nails and put some more time into yourself. Right. And how about, how many, how long do you stay at the gym? How long do you suggest? I think you can, for me, a real good, tough workout, I can knock out about 25 sets in 40 minutes that's working with you know some pretty good weight and around 12 reps and not too much rest so i keep the blood flowing that i mean that that is a then you know if you want to talk some stretching or maybe a little cardio on top of it that'll drag your workout out for you can go to two hours easy but 
I mean, a really good training. And you can get away with 20 minutes of really good training and really stay healthy. Right. Injury free. And if you do work, if you do train or work out a lot and you don't overtrain, you will get less energy. You just get injuries, just laying around and doing nothing. Uh, you know, you rest, you rust. You just fall apart, man. You got to run. I mean, it's right. like leaving a car in a garage for two or three years. I mean, it's not going to be running its best when you go to start it up. Right. You just put that little bit of work into yourself and it, it's, it's so positive. It's no negative. You know, you're not wasting your time on something that don't count. Right. Now you were saying that it's so important to keep your strength. Is there certain exercises like for grip strength, arm strength that people could do? Well, your core is, the core will determine your strength. It's basically determined strength is legs, chest, and back. Those are your major mu muscle groups. The arms are like show muscles. If you do uh, some uh, chest work, your triceps getting work. If you do some back work, your biceps are getting work. But those basic three muscle groups that take the load, chest, back, and legs. Mm -hmm. I think legs are the, as you get, are the most important because that's your foundation. Right. And to keep them in good shape and strong. Some kind of, uh, uh, like I said, from a, uh, sitting in a chair and getting up and down, up, down, up, down, without pushing off. Right. Will help you. And if you really get adventurous, I mean, you can do one legged uh, leg presses, you know, with, with your leg up on the chair and you maybe have something to balance you and press with one leg. Right. Legs are everything. I mean, that's what you, that's what you walk around with. And if your leg strength is good and you're stretching a little bit, you're not going to shuffle or anything, you know, have that, like you're in a diaper or anything like that. Right. A diaper shuffle. <laughs> is that what you call it? I don't know. <laughs> but uh you just want to feel good you know and if you're hurting you're not feeling good right if you're moving you're going to do all right yeah just moving everything they're making life easier on everything you do i mean i'm just watching a, on tv and i mean all this netflix and all these movies i mean when the hell you got anything to, no time but to watch that stuff <laughs> i mean i mean they're taking a you know they didn't when i was a young man they had a tv you had the, the wabbit ears on it and you had to get up and change the channels now you got the remote, but all this entertainment coming out, you all you just end up being a couch all the time. Right. Just sitting around where you need to move around a little bit. Right. You just need to move. Very yeah. important. Hey, they got a, in the old days, uh, they had uh, the car windows. You got to roll them up by your hand. You got to, at least you got an arm workout. Now you press the button. Right. Or even had a shift on a car. That means you're shifting with the clutch and all that stuff. And they still got them. Mm -hmm. and actually, that's a, you, you drive a, but that, that's actually a form of exercise. Right. It really is if you think about it. You drive around for, for 20 miles somewhere or another, you know, constantly shift. I mean, you're actually getting some time to work out. Yeah. That's all gone. That's all gone. Right. Life is getting more convenient, more easy, but a lot more mental pressure. Yes. Very Everything, true. you know, you pick up the phone, nobody, no, nobody at the end of the phone, you know, you press this number to get this number and that number, uh, Yes. I don't know. It doesn't excite me. <laughs> it's so important to, you know, keep yourself in good shape. And I know, especially now, because the summer is coming, people keep talking about belly fat, losing that belly fat, losing that belly fat. And people, I hear so many people, especially women, they struggle and struggle and struggle. And everything they do, they seem to have a very difficult time losing that belly fat. You know, do you come across any people that you know that, you know, have used certain types of vitamins and supplements and or certain exercises that have helped them maybe reduce belly fat? Because you have a nice physique. You, you know, you're tight. I still, I I'm almost eight. I still got abs. That's mm -hmm. hard to come by at my age. Yeah. No, it, very, it is. And as you get older, believe it or not, you get more vascular. Your skin gets thinner. You look more vascular. But... You know, I, I don't believe in crash diets or even getting ready, you know, for the summer. I'm gonna, why don't you just put the work in every a little bit every day and just stay in reasonable shape? Right. And it's it just a lot easier than, you know, you're pressuring yourself, you know, going on a vacation, wherever you're going, oh, I got to lose 10, 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a little too much. I think just with something, you know, steady as you go. Right. Just Nothing make hard, but steady as you go steady on, on the uh, on your eating steady on your exercise and you won't have to worry about nothing you'll always be ready to go right right very true i like i said the crash diets and all this stuff are this exempics I, I don't think that stuff is so great for you 
very few people really have what I would call a hard to lose weight, you know, they, maybe they're, they're, especially the females with thyroids off or so on and so forth. Those are the only medical things I could think of. It's just a matter of putting a little time in, uh, paying attention to what you're doing, what you're a little bit of exercise and what you're eating. There's so many great choices in food. It's unbelievable. I mean, you can't get in shape. It's ridiculous. And yeah. I can make cardboard taste good these days. There's no excuses. <laughs> it's true, and, you know. Uh, better, back to strength again. I mean, if you could do some kind of even bands, like a bench press type thing, that's your upper, at your chest. Right. Pulling anything for your back is anything you're pulling. Like I said, your major muscles groups, and they burn more calories than you work in a small way. Mm -hmm. uh, group like the arms let's say right but if you keep at it i don't see a problem you don't have to be you don't have to be a fanatic you know and be a gym rat or whatever you know most people i know that go to the gym you love it so much you get hung up on it if you think if you miss a day it bothers you mentally but most people over train yeah and that, they wonder why they're injured they wonder why this they don't give it enough rest uh, uh, you know, they come in there and every day they keep on doing, you know, over and over. They don't give their body any kind of rest and everything is on the feed and the rest. You got to yeah. feed, you got to rest and then you're going to get your results. Right. And, you know, but don't, don't over train. Yeah. I think. Uh, I like to see 20 minutes every day, but even if it's every three days and uh, it's good as long as you're doing something. Right. Moving around, walking around as much as possible. Just moving. Right. You know, now even for the housework, they got these little robots. I mean, you don't even push the vacuum cleaner around. You don't even get no arm work out. I mean, I mean, all that helps, believe it or not, that's all going away. Think about it. Yeah. All that no, movement, definitely. All that, that's a lot of movement. You're walking around the house and doing this and doing that and cleaning this and bending over and doing that. Now that little lousy robot goes around and does everything. So, so that takes away even more. It's true. Then it becomes a vicious circle. Now you're not feeling good. You're going to the doctor. You got this and that. He gives you a pill for that and this. You know, you're masking all your problems. You're not taking care of them. Right. It, it just, it's a bad cycle. And society in general, the people that like develop things like that, like all the phones. And uh, to me, even I, I know you need a, 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 some communication, some computer and this and that, but just too much. Yeah. Yeah. Just, it's just just too much. You lose your life with that stuff. Oh, you're I agree. Very, very addicting too. Every yeah. Ten minutes, you, every two minutes you're checking your phone. Right. It's very it's, true. There's a balance. There's a balance. Yes, there is a balance. And all this modern stuff is great, but I don't think it's the bottom line. Mm -mm. I mm -hmm. think nothing beats feeling good and looking good. I don't yeah. care what they give you. Give you all the fancy stuff. I'd rather look good and feel good. You can keep all the fancy stuff. There's yeah. no reason why you can't have. There's no reason why you can't have both. Right. To learn yes. how to, most people have trouble managing their time. Mm -hmm. They waste That's their time trying to manage their time. Kind of, especially you know, to get going in the morning. That's where the management starts. To get up early and get your butt in gear and do what you got to do. Yeah. There's certain stuff you got to you got to take care of. Maybe you have to get the kids off or whatever. You got to brush your teeth. You got to, certain things you just got to do. Then right. you have the time. You got 24 hours a day. Yes. You, you, I, I don't know why you can't squeeze a little bit of a productive time in for yourself. Oh, true. So true. So many people, you know, in the morning they wake up, they have their coffee. Then all of a sudden they sit by the computer. They're looking at their emails, and before you know it. An hour has gone by, two hours has gone by, and then the time they were supposed to go to the gym or walk around their community or do something, the time is over. And then they get caught up in the next thing and the next thing. And half the things that were would have been important to do that were necessary for their own health is, is gone. Well, not only that, it improves your quality of life in general when you're not under that. Generally, you're doing say, computer stuff even because you pretty much have to do or it's related right. to some stuff. It brings a little bit of stress on mm -hmm. putting the exercise in yourself nobody who talks about it, it's a tremendous tremendous stress releaser yeah i mean when you go in the, if you start exercising all your little problems you don't even think about them anymore at least for that time period yeah you need you need that break oh a hundred percent yeah you need you need 
that break. And a lot of people don't give themselves that break. They're constantly under the gun. Yeah. And it's just, you know, a lot of it's self-imposed. So you can't help it, you know. Bad habits bring on bad things. Yes. A hundred percent. I know they may people. be. Whatever they may be, it's not good. And as I'm getting older, as I'm, you know, how many more years am I going to live? And I'm trying to, you know, do what I enjoy the best. And it still boils down to, for me personally, things don't seem to do it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, all about feeling good and looking good for me. That's what works for me. That I'm functional. And yes. I can do things that I would, I can still do things when I was a younger man. Right. Uh, hobbies. There's no reason why somebody cannot do some hobbies they had before. Maybe they're not as great as they were, but they still can enjoy them. Yeah. You can play tennis. Right. A little golf. Maybe not, not as good as you used to be, but you still can get your, you know, jollies out of it. Yeah, for sure. Very important. No, it definitely is important. I think, I think a lot of people, you know, that, like you said, they get focused on today's electronics. They get focused on other stuff. But so many, you know, I know people that go to the gym and, and it makes them feel good because they do, they forget about their problems. They forget about, you know, all the stresses in life and it kind of releases the stress. It, it, it makes them feel good. You know, they, they leave the gym thinking, oh, I accomplished something. And two, I forgot about all those things I have to do that are all those things, you know, problems I got to face. And, and they just focus in on them, you know, number one. And that's what self-care is all about. Focusing on yourself, focusing on what's most important. You can't go wrong if you put energy in yourself. There's no negative energy. Nobody, there's no bad feedback. Right. There's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Right. Especially when you put it in yourself and it's positive energy, there's no negative energy. And it has a, so much positive. I mean, as you get older, you know, you don't, have doctors are chasing around the doctors. Every time you got a little pain, you go to the doctors. I mean, uh, try to avoid that as much as possible. And by taking care of yourself, you will that stuff away yeah for sure it's very important and i think that circulation is important too some people just don't move around enough like he's mentioned oh, yeah. you rest your rust you rust your rust i like that i like with that. all the modern convenience all you're doing is sitting on your behind or or on the couch or in the bed or doing whatever you're doing the bed's made for uh sleeping and a few other functions but that's about it right and people just they're, they're, they're it's modern society is making people lazy yeah i mean everything's a push but like i mentioned you had to roll up the car windows you know back when but yeah. actually that would be a lot of exercise for some people <laughs> think about it think about it when you're doing zero yeah or pushing a clutch with your both your you know you're working your feet you're working your arm mm -hmm. I mean, that's, you know if you did that all day and in and out of traffic you'd, you'd have a pretty good workout yeah that's you, that's important. you have a couple of different b vitamins you know and b vitamins is pretty good for energy do, oh do, yeah do you take your b vitamins in the morning well, i take i take the b12 i take a b complex uh uh i take vitamin d for sure i take our vitamin d right here again well let me get on the other side and The tablet is extremely small. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. So, yeah, they're very small. They're they're a quarter I, the size of your uh, your pinky nail. Yeah. So you don't have to swallow tablets. We only put the active ingredients. We have the, I think we have the cleanest product on the cleanest tablet on the market. I like them. Yeah, and uh, we pride in putting out good quality in our product. And like, see, when everything comes, all our raw materials that come into the warehouse all tested for all impurities uh, heavy metals so on and so forth and then after we start we manufacture we uh, we uh, assay it again along with all the micros and i mean we everything we get is uh we won't let anything go out the door unless it's 100 100 that's amazing we have great quality control, control and great people doing it and that's what the type of vitamins and supplements you need, because there's so many out there. And so many times I look in, in the back of, a, of vitamins and supplements, I look at that, the ingredients and the main, the main thing that they're supposed to be selling, they have the least of, and it, it amazes me when, when people sometimes, do that. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, but you have to have 
when you learn how to read labels, especially in food, when you, you know, ingesting, uh, you must learn how to read labels, portion size, uh, tablets, how many is it two, two or one ounce, three ounce, six ounce, and you can figure that, that out. But mm -hmm. basically, if you look at food supplements, look at what it says, other ingredients. Those are the inactives. And a yes. lot of times, they are more than the actives. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, they are. It's pretty yeah. common. And they're using a lot of uh, artificial ingredients, uh, chemical, it's chemicals, basically. Right. They're getting better and better at it, but it's still a lot of it around. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's so important because I think I think people have to... We don't use... Get... We don't use... What? We don't use any of those uh, other ingredients. Yeah, and that's important because you know there there are there are a lot of a lot of vitamins and supplements that do, and this, there are there are some that don't. But you have to you have to be aware of you know that there is a possibility and and look at the ingredients every time you purchase something. It's so important to look at the ingredients and look at what you're actually buying. One hundred percent, and just just learn how to read the labels. Sugar. I don't know. We've talked about that before. That's a real culprit here. Yeah. Not not good. Not good at all. But I said a good protein with fresh foods, uh, fresh anything. I don't as long as it's fresh. I eat a lot of potatoes, which instead of I don't eat much, very little, little bread. Mm -hmm. It's unprocessed. Yeah. And not a lot of calories, and again, it'll give you some bulk and give you some calories. I only eat about eighteen hundred calories a day with eating five meals. The protein drinks are 100, 150 calories, and I get around 20 grams on most protein drinks. And the meals are around 500, mm -hmm. so 1,500 and a couple of drinks. It's 1,800, that's it. When you're drinking your protein drinks, how long does it fill you up for? Do you feel full you know, for that, a while? They eat me two, three hours, sometimes even more. But if I'd eat one of those candy bars, mm -hmm. I could eat a bunch of them and end up eating 2,000 calories or 1,000 calories. Most of the protein powders are about 150 calories. Right. Which is not much in the, they're, with the water. And very, very filling. For me, it is. Yeah. It really, really fills me up tremendously. And there's so many good powders around. If you want to go the vegan, it's not a problem. You want I use whey and I use the vegan type products, both. Mm -hmm. Mix them up. But they, they taste good and uh, be, you can get them without the artificial sweeteners. They'll use stevia, rebicide stevia in them, mm -hmm. which is uh, more and more is being used versus the sucralose and the mannitol and sorbitol and all that other stuff. Right. Just read the labels. Yeah. That's all you got to do. It's really important. And then some people... Have... Go on. No, I was going to say some people, they they... They purchase the amino acids and then they purchase protein powder. Is there a difference between the amino acids and the protein powders? Well, the protein powder, all protein has amino acids. Okay. Some are complete or, you know, uh, uh, whey protein or uh, it's complete protein has all amino acids. And they usually put the profile on the side of the jar on a lot of them, not all of them. They'll show you, a per, let's say you use a scoop, which is uh, 28 grams, about an ounce. And they'll put per, per, per ounce, they'll put the milligrams of all the different amino acids. Right. Another thing we didn't touch on, which is creatine, which mm -hmm. has probably the most steady anything around. And we put out a product with, with, with creatine, HMB. The HMB helps you uh, uh, burn fat. Oh, really? It helps you, get, it helps you not get fat. So we blended those two together. And we're one of the we're the first on the market with that, or one of the first for sure. I take that personally, especially mm -hmm. after I work out. Right. The creatine is excellent, and it's tasteless basically too. So you can put it in your powders or take it separately, but there's there's no calories there. Wow. But you you know you need calories. You need some fuel. You can't run a car on you know without an empty tank, no gas. Yeah. When you put, you know, you have a big motor in the car and you put the cheap gas in, that's not so cool. Right. So you got to think of yourself as a as a Rolls Royce or at least a Bentley minimum. <laughs> and you got to use the right gas. That means the right fuel. Right. For sure. And wow. you know, try to, you know, you can, 
you can eat healthy, not spending a lot of money. I eat a lot of sardines and tuna. They're not very expensive. Mm -hmm. And you're getting all the protein in the world. It's good quality protein. It, you know, a lot of the beans are good and they're not very expensive. So with, with everything that we've, we've talked about today, what are some of the things you'd like to emphasize that you feel are really important? If people want to really work on their strength, stay strong, live a long life and, and feel good, you know, what are some of the things today that you'd like to emphasize on? Well, the most important thing for me personally is I think everybody lives about the same. You know, you can keep everybody, you can keep them alive on drugs. What is your quality of life? Are you going to have a, good, a decent sexual life as you get older? Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to not be able to do the things you want to do? Right. I'm not being unrealistic things, you know? I mean, some people struggle just to walk. Yeah. I'm not talking about getting out and, you know, like you're a, a star on a basketball team or something like that. Right. Just, well, you can function at a nice level and feel good about yourself and, and enjoy what's around you. Let's say you have grandkids, you don't, you can't be playing maybe soccer with them necessary. You know, you can maybe referee the game and walk around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you can have a somewhat of a quality of life and don't feel like you're, I can't do this. I can't do age is just a number. And if you take care of yourself, you can be a very f functional in, in 60s, 70s and 80s. You really can. Right. You're not going to be what you were at 20, obviously, but you still could be have a good portion of it left, maybe be at 60, 70, 80% possible. Yeah. And find, and find some type of activities you actually enjoy. It doesn't become a chore. Oh, I got to go work out. Oh, I got to do it. That's the wrong attitude. Yes. Find something you enjoy that you can do that will get you know, some movement. Right. Whatever it may be. Just get, get moving. I agree. Whatever, whatever turns you on, you know, and where can people find your vitamins and supplements? Uh, where basically in almost every any health food store you go in, including uh, uh, Sprouts or Vitamin Cottage, Independence, Amazon, Walmart, uh, Vitamin Shop, we do bit with them pretty much anywhere. Or you can go to cvcforhealth.com. But all the, almost any internet seller carries us pretty much for all of them, in fact. And you have a website, correct? That's uh, Superior Source Vitamin? Yeah, that, that, that. Plus, if you want to buy products, you can buy it off the cbcforhealth.com. Okay, great. The prices are similar to Amazon. So they're the same price as Amazon. Amazon's made life easy for everybody. I mean, how easy can you be? I mean, you don't have to get in the car and go to the store. You just push a few buttons and the stuff's there the next day. <laughs> I mean, it's good and it's bad. Yeah. It's good and it's bad. Right. But the things that'll make you young and make you feel good, uh, you, uh, you're you not pushing buttons particularly. Right. Keep moving. Got to keep moving. Got to keep moving. Before When I get up in the morning in the bed, I do about 10, 15 minutes of exercise. Just some little light stretching. Mm -hmm. And it wakes me up. What type of stretching do you do? Uh, I'll do some stuff uh, 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 for... Uh, for uh, stretching my uh, uh, upper body, my waist, some leg crossover on each side. I'll uh, my arms. I'll, I'll do some stretching, different type of different type of stretches. Mm -hmm. That 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 sort of thing. And another thing I use too is I use one of those percussion guns. Mm -hmm. I think everybody you know they, they vibrate a little bit. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. I use them on you know someone. I get a ache and pain. It'll get you get the blood in the get. You got to get the blood in the area. The blood is a healer. You get the blood in an area if you got an injury. That's the only thing it heals. Right. The blood. Most people don't know that the blood. The blood is the real healer. You right. have an injury and you get swollen. The blood gets choked off, and that's how you get swollen. And the pain yeah. comes. Then you got to start working. Let it calm down for a while, and then you got to get the blood in there, and it'll heal it up. It's right. a process. It's a process for sure. Things have changed so much in the industry. I mean, I mean, just about health. I mean, when I was a young man, uh, they said if you lifted weights, you'd be muscle bound and you couldn't play sports. You can't play sports without lifting weights now. Right. I mean, they, they all do, even the golfers. Yeah. So I mean, you got it gives you the strength. So it's very true. 
and and with the flexibility, that's why all 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 these records broken after records that people have been doing it for for a hundred years and are still breaking records. Right. It's really true. This has been amazing. I, I really enjoyed this conversation. I think it's so important that people realize that as we get older, we have to keep on moving. We have to keep active. And it, it's not only our body, but it, it keeps us, our strength, it, it helps us with, it helps us with our mind, it, you know, it keeps us active, you know, and, and you know, people, it, it, you know, there's been um, information about Alzheimer's and dementia, how, you know, keeping active and being productive, you know, can can help us with Alzheimer's and, and dementia. And then also just, you know, like you said, just using the bands and just moving around, you know, that could help us with our strength. And, and the most important parts, like you said, is the hands, the legs, the back, you know, keeping it strong and, and just working on a regular basis. And, and just eating the right food. Then. Related to a car, when you get a new car, that's like you being a young person. Right. Now, all you got to do is put gas in the damn thing. And if it's cheap gas, it'll still run. Mm -hmm. And as the car gets older, you get 20, 30, let's say 50,000 miles. We relate that as us being 50. It right. needs to be maintained. Yeah. I mean, be realistic about it here. I mean, it, it, the young car is a young you. Eh, you can beat it up, you know, here and there, and it'll still be all right. But when you, the car's got 50,000 miles, if you have not replaced the tires already, I mean, it just, stuff just happens. You just got to take care of it. And if you stay on top of it, everything will be fine. You get the car to 100,000 miles. But if you don't, you know, you're going to have trouble. Same thing with your body. You just got to put a little into it. A yeah. lot of people put more money to take the car and to be serviced than they do their self. Right. Dental appointments, very important to get your teeth clean, good dental and all these little things, it's like changing your oil in the car. Yeah. I mean, you can really, but you can't expect to be, uh, you might be a, 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 a an old car when you get older, but you'll be a good old car. Exactly. And there's nothing wrong with that. You did your best and you try and, you know, whatever happens, happens, but, but you got to make that little bit of effort and, and it's it, it shapes your character too. Yeah. When you sure. get adversity, when you, you get a little mentally tough. Yeah. A hundred percent. 100%. It doesn't hurt, man, to be a little mentally tough. Everybody runs into problems, you know, whatever it may be. You be a little mentally tough. It's not the worst thing in the world. No, not at all. That's that's my quote for the day. You're old, if you're an old car, let's be a good old car. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, Ron, for coming on the show and, you. and sharing your knowledge. You know, it's it's been a pleasure, like always. Yeah, we've come... We, we have a lot of fun here. And I think we're, my major thing is I want to see people do well and help their self. Yes. And just a little bit, a little bit of a little time in yourself. You can get it. It doesn't have, you don't have to be a fanatic. A hundred percent. I'll be the fanatic for everybody else. <laughs> but you don't have to be. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what people have to realize. Right. And we need advocates like you and I and many other people that are really putting the word out and, you know, if I can get somebody to feel good about their self, I've had a pretty good day in general, too. 100%. It yes. It makes me feel good. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And anyone without, can do it. You know, without preaching to them and, you know, nobody want, wants to be told stuff and make them feel bad, but just got to make that first little bit of effort. Yes. And it, it, it really pays off in spades. It does. It does. Little tweaks and you'll go a long way. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, you have a great day, Ron. This has Thank been amazing. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.